The shipyard in Booth Bay Harbor was purchased three years ago by Andy Tiska of Bristol Marine, which also includes two other waterfront locations in Bristol, Rhode Island and Somerset, Massachusetts. Our team includes talented shipwrights, systems technicians, project managers, naval architects, and engineers dedicated to meet the specific needs of our customers with U.S. Coast Guard inspected vessels. We strive to form long-term partnerships with our customers to continue the legacy of traditional wooden ship construction and tall ship sailing. Hi, my name is Eric Graves from Bristol Marine Shipyard in Booth Bay Harbor and we're in the historical center here at the shipyard, open to the public, uh, new this year. We have some great documentation of the shipyard from the past 151 years, from building four-masted tall ships through the turn of the century to U.S. Navy minesweepers during World War II. Here at the shipyard in Booth Bay Harbor, we have two marine railways. Uh, behind me is the larger of our two. It's a 700 ton capacity marine railway. Currently sitting on, on it is uh, the schooner Ernestina Morrissey in final phases of construction. My name is David Short. I'm the lead shipwright on the restoration of the Ernestina Morrissey. Hey, we're in the forecastle of the Ernestina Morrissey. Traditionally, this is the space where the crew lived. Hey, here is Sam Perkins in the forecastle making some adjustments to the bunk lee boards. Here we're in the fish hold. Originally the space where the vessel would fill with her catch of fresh fish. Mike Beauregard is seen here working on some of our very intricate plumbing. In this case uh, discharges for black and gray water tanks which are installed under the floor. Our engine room is built, being built out with fuel oil tanks, two diesel generators, the main engine a 370 horsepower Cummins diesel. Our bilge and firefighting equipment are seen in the, our manifold up against the bulkhead. This silicon bronze and nickel brass system allows us to selectively dewater any of five compartments as well as send water to two separate fire mains on deck. The aft cabin is another space that we are building out as per historically as it would historically appear in the fashion of the 19th century fishing schooner. Although most of our work this winter is concentrated below decks, we are assembling a gantry on deck to facilitate the loading of the ship's generators and main engine. So here we have 3D laser scan images of the vessel Ernestina Morrissey after her reconstruction. So there were scans completed outside and inside the vessel and on deck and then brought together as one uh, documented drawing with an exploded view showing the interior and deck sections on this image and down here a nice cross-section image of the engine room and engine beds and stringer construction. This is the smaller of our two marine railways at 150 ton capacity. It has the ability to haul boats out and then we can take boats off with either a hydraulic trailer or we can build a cradle and use a series of steel plates and rollers to skid the boats off of uh, this railway. This is our updated joiner shop with all new equipment and dust collection systems. Well, here we are at the end of our new pier, uh, completed uh, in the summer of 2020. Uh, it's 193 feet long in total. It sticks out here into beautiful Booth Bay Harbor. It's a cold day out here today, um, but we wanted to come out so we could see it. This uh, winter we'll be doing some additional work, and next summer we'll be adding an additional 150 feet of new floats. So uh, that'll bring us almost up to 350 feet. So we'll have significant space for vessels 
uh, up to 150 feet to tie, and, and uh, that will be in addition to our 25 moorings. We're inside our climate-controlled um, steel building. This is where we do some of our larger uh, restoration or new build constructions. I'm standing on the deck of the 68 foot long 12 meter uh, called Gleam. She's out of Newport, Rhode Island. She's in for the first phase of a three year restoration project. Right now we're doing some work to the covering boards and the hull. We're stripping some paint on the interior and redoing a significant portion of her varnish. For Bristol Marine, it's all about the people. Our exceptional team of men and women are passionate and dedicated to provide the best service possible. We also work closely with community education programs to engage students in boat building, sailing, seamanship, and marine science. We have the unique ability to focus on large traditional restorations for tall ship educational programs that share our common goal of providing opportunities for young people while at sea or mastering the marine trades.